Okay, so what I'm showing here, here is a Persian workabout made by uh, Persian, obviously, and it's the same as the organisers you've probably seen of, but this is a one from Mint for shops, uh, warehouses, things like that for collecting data and stuff like that. Okay, so obviously you have the usual RS232 port for downloading data uh, programs, things like that. It also has a a scanner on top so let's just show you what we've got okay so it has the usual programs on it hopefully you can see everything so you've got data which is obviously an address book for phone numbers things like that okay so Also, a calculator. Obviously, we don't need to show you too much on the calculators. You know how calculators work. It's a calculator. Uh, sheet, which is uh, basically Excel. So, obviously, any Excel sheets information in the cells okay let's get out of that one and uh, comms so obviously connect it to the pc scan demo one demo now it's obviously this here so swipe barcode so here we go i've got a couple of things to to swipe Where's the backcode? There we go, there's the backcode. There's a hot light on the back here, so you know when you've done it. There you go, see the green light? And there's the barcode, which matches that. And it doesn't matter which way you, you swipe it from. Okay, so that was a 60405. There we go, 22. This one here, again, beep. 503, oh, well, 419. So that works well. Okay, menu. And we have the OPL programming language. Let's just get these out of the view. Now, the uh, OPL programming language is uh, an easy program to learn. So I've written a couple of things on here. Now, obviously, if you're going to write a program, obviously, you do the open world thing. <laughs> Hello world. So, here we, here we go. So, I'll just show you the program. So, the program is called main. Uh, print. Hello world. Beep. Pause. 20. Beep. Another beep. Okay. And then I'm going to pause again. And then I've oh, got another procedure called one another procedure again one one so it's like go to or go sub then end procedure and there is our procedure one which is print hello world beep 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 okay so to run this it's called translate so because obviously we're translating it from basic to a, uh, a code that the machine will understand so we hit translate so it's translating do you want to run the program so I hit yes and there you go. Hopefully it comes out on screen. And hopefully you can hear it. So that's just basically printing hello world to screen and doing a beep. Now obviously uh, you could write whatever you wanted on that. So now that that's finished, um, I'm going to come out of there. Exit. Okay. Now you'll see another one next to it. The speech bubble. Okay, now it's already translated it to a machine code, so you don't have to run it again. You can just simply enter it and it'll run right away. And I'll just wait for that to finish. There you go, that's finished. Okay, so. 
Hello World 2 is another one. I'll show you that quickly. Okay, so as you can see this one, I've done with something a little bit more complicated on this one. Okay, so let's just run this. Go to Prog, Translate, and Translate it. Do I want to run the program? Yes, here we go. Oh, it's Hello World again. But this time I've got it bouncing around the screen. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, the problem is obviously the refresh rate. Let's see if I can make it a bit darker. Okay, I'm also just going to go to um, exit out of that so I don't have to run it. Might be too dark that. Try that one, see if you can see that one. Hopefully, you can see that. I'll show you that later. But yeah, you can write anything you want. Quite a good program. Right, okay, so let's uh, just show you what it's like on the inside. So, I'll undo these screws. Now, you don't have to, to change the batteries and everything else, you don't have to undo it. Press that button there and release this section here there we go okay so powered by two standard double a batteries and you can put your ROM cartridges in there to add in extra programs okay and i am going to open it up so you can actually see what it's like because this is like a protective jacket the actual machine there's the ribbon cable and that just slides back like that okay now I can switch this on with my finger Not going to switch on, is it? Well, a rubber button. But there you go, at least you can see that. I'm going to slide it back in there and that will uh, connect with the rubber buttons. switches on now <laughs> there you go right, there you go 